Hey guys, thanks for joining me on another episode of Jack's Mechanics. Today we've got a 2018 Mazda CX-5, 2.5 litre uh, KF model, uh, customer complaint of a check engine light. Just brought it into the shop, uh, not seeing a check engine light, seeing an eye stop flashing light, uh, and the obviously the warning light with the triangle with the exclamation mark and the service indicator underneath it so you would probably expect the eye stop and the warning light to be on the same um, I've seen that in the past that they will be on it's, the customer is also complaining of a slow to crank issue um, just got the scan tool doing a pre-scan now as you can see, 37% done now. Power supply circuit, low input. Seen a few of these in the past. Always down to bad uh, batteries. Um, obviously, it's got that current sensor on the side of the the battery uh, on the negative cable. Obviously, we want our battery in uh, top order for our stop start system and it flashes the eye stop warning when it's turning when the eye stop is not working correctly and it's essentially turned off uh, that's probably because it's detecting poor battery quality and it doesn't obviously want to turn the car off in case it doesn't restart there is different batteries for this car um, well for stop start cars So you don't want to just be putting a typical uh, wet cell battery in there. It has to be the enhanced flooded type that does is capable of doing lots and lots of cranks over and over and over when it gets to the lights. So P0A8D, our main fault code. Not too worried about the other ones at the moment. Definitely not a check engine light, definitely just that warning light. Well, I've seen in the past people putting their own batteries in cars and not carrying out the relearn, to basically making sure the car knows that it's got a new battery in there. I'm not 100% sure how it actually, whether it's the current sensor that's monitoring the health of the battery. Um, yeah, wish wish I did um, but all I know is that this is probably down to a poor battery or a battery that hasn't been relearned so I will grab the carbon pile tester and we'll go into the engine bay and test this battery and have a look if it's a new battery and um, we'll go from there and if it does need a new battery or if it needs to be relearned I'll show you how to do that relearn process so we'll just do our electrical test on there first. Battery and vehicle, battery test. So EFB is an uh, enhanced flooded battery, that's our stop start battery. CCA is on this thing. Cannot see an actual measurement. Going by the size of it, it's probably around 600 I'd say. Should be close enough in the ballpark, ballpark for us. Okay, so even with the electric one, it's telling us to replace it. Obviously, 325 on the health and 41% uh, on the state of charge. Even if this uh, battery is not a 600 CCA, it needs to have more than 325 um, CCA. If it's not a 600 CCA, it needs to have more than 325 in there. Um, this is obviously just doing a resistance test through the cells. Just to double com double check. We'll put the carbon pile on there. So we've got our leads on and here's our screen. 
and essentially we'll just wind this up to 600 and we're gonna watch our scale here our carbon pile tester is a little bit dicky so sometimes it doesn't want to work and instantly it's pulling down 500 CCAs and we can see our terminal is smoking away as normal that test test bad all right we're gonna put a battery in this I'll go pick up a battery and um, I'll get it into the car it doesn't matter about keeping power in the car because we need the whole system voltage to um, dissipate all the capacitors and that when we put on the new battery um, and our new current sensor and everything it needs to learn a brand new car essentially um, so no need to worry about keeping power in the, in the car in this particular case so I'll go grab a battery I'll get it in and I'll show you how to do the relearn so we've got our new battery in um, you want to test it make sure your battery is actually good so we've got a good battery nice and healthy that should come up a bit more once it goes to fully charged um, but you need over 75 percent state of charge to be able to relearn the battery so here are the instructions i'll get you into a better spot where there's less glare hopefully oh one second now oh, that's horrendous Okay, so I'll just let you have a read through that. You can pause it on the video if you want. Page one, page two, page three, page four, page five. So we're gonna go back up to the top. Gonna to disconnect our battery cable. We're gonna disconnect the uh, battery current sensor. We're going to wait five minutes, allow it to stabilise, then we're going to put it back on. So we'll be there in the next uh, next capture. Okay, it's been just over five minutes. Put our negative terminal on. You can tighten it up. You don't have to tighten it up, but it's probably preferred. And then after, after 10 seconds, uh, we want to put our current clamp on. So we put our current plug on, lock that on. So now we've gone inside the car, uh, connectors on, switch the ignition on. Wait for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. I actually managed to do 15. I didn't know got to 10 before. And then press the I-stop switch down here. Hold that in for 10 seconds. I-stop indicator flashes green we've got down the bottom there and then switch the ignition off close the bonnet keys off or just close the bonnet bonnet's closed start the engine no electrical loads no lights on no aircon on let the engine warm up I've never completely waited for it to warm up, just wait for the uh, RPM to come down off its cold start cycle. You can hopefully hear the engine RPM dropping, seeing the RPM dropping. And then we want to go steering wheel lock to lock. And centre it. 
switch the ignition off. Switch the ignition on. Hold the ice top button. Ice top warning, amber will illuminate. Start the engine. I stop button again, hold it for a long stop. Bloody people keep interrupting me. Uh, I think I mucked it up there because we should have the light flashing, so we'll start the process again. So we'll turn the car off, switch the ignition on, hold the button for three seconds, the I stop warning is on. Start the engine. Long press on the I stop button once. And there you go, you want it flashing green. And you want to wait until the I stop warning um, stops flashing green. In idle, no electrical load. Once it's turned off, you switch the car off, and then you start to start the engine. Okay, so now um, I'll just move this car that's parked behind me, and we'll go for a test drive and confirm that the ice stop's working. Ice stop green came on, that's good. Make sure I don't crash. And then we'll just pull up, make sure the car turns off. Car turns off, release the brake, car starts. That's it. So that's that fault code sorted out with your low battery voltage, P2A, uh, 0D or whatever whatever it was um, yeah but the relearn is a little a little bit technical uh, just well not technical you just got to follow a few steps and it's a little bit um, sensitive if you don't do it exactly right so I'll see if I can find out about the uh, current sensor and how it actually mon monitors battery life um, the health of the battery and but yeah, see if we can share some information about that in the next frame. So just a little bit of um, extra content about the um, the way that it calculates how the battery is worn. Uh, essentially, I did a course on a Volkswagen uh, scan tool, the VCDS, um, and it was briefly touched on there. And then I just reached out to my good friend, Gary, Arian from Go Diagnostics, uh, who's based over east in Australia. If you guys need anybody um, at Mudgee, and he was essentially saying that when the car is on initial crank um, and it monitors the battery voltage, what it drops down to, the threshold will be set by the manufacturer. Let's just call it nine volts. And if it drops below nine volts, it knows the battery's on the way out and it'll turn the stop start warning on and turn off the stop start system. So there you go. Just a little bit of extra content. Thanks to Gary for helping us out there. And yeah, hope you learned something. If you did, consider liking, consider subscribing and we'll catch you in the next one. See you next time.